Welcome to Learn Medical Spanish. Today we're going to go over some more anatomy, in this case the arm or the upper extremity. So it'll overlap a little bit with some previous anatomy sections, like the anatomy overview, if you've done that. But there will also be some new stuff. So you can learn a couple new things and also review the old stuff and see if you've mastered it. A quick reminder again, as I've mentioned on the last few episodes, I've created five very focused beginner lessons that are very high yield for providers. And if you want to get those via email, you go to learnmedicalspanish.org slash lessons. And I'll put a link for convenience in the podcast description and the YouTube video description as well. All right, um, let's go ahead and get into the phrases. So I'm going to say them in English first and then pause, let you think about the translation. And then I'll say them in Spanish a couple of times. All right, here's the first one. Arm. So we're talking about the whole upper extremity. Arm. Brazo. Brazo. And actually I'm going to say the arm. So that would be el brazo. El brazo. And I'll do that on all the rest of the terms. So we'll say the. So it'll be el or la in most cases. And that's because it's really, really common in Spanish. You want to add that word the almost always when you're talking about body parts, um, or at least more often than you would in English. So it's it's valuable to learn, you know, is it el or la? You know, is it masculine or feminine? And so we'll kind of review that as we go along. So that was arm, el brazo, the arm. What about forearm? El antebrazo. El antebrazo. Shoulder. Clue, here's a hint. This sounds like the word for man, but it's a little different. El hombro. El hombro. Because what's the word for man? Hombre. So one letter difference. Elbow. El codo. El codo. Wrist. La muñeca. La muñeca. Hand. La mano. La mano. Two bits of trivia on this slide. One is... Muñeca means wrist, and for some reason it's the same word as doll, so it can mean wrist or doll. <laughs> um, and then the word hand, mano, you probably would assume it's masculine and say el mano, but nope, it's feminine, so you say la mano. Palm, as in the palm of the hand. La palma. La palma. Finger. El dedo. El dedo. Thumb. El pulgar. El pulgar which sounds really similar to the word for inch, which is pulgada. So it's easy to get those confused, so it might take a little practice, but el pulgar is the thumb. Knuckle. This one is probably a little bit regional. In other words, they probably use slightly different words for this in different places and whatnot, but here's a common way to say it. Knuckle. El nudillo. El nudillo. 
fingernail, which is the same word as toenail. La uña. La uña. And how would you make that plural? Las uñas. Las uñas. Skin. So now we're kind of moving on from stuff that's very specific to the upper extremity to things that you might need to talk about if you're talking about the upper extremity, but they're present elsewhere as well. So, <laughs> so the next one is skin. La piel. La piel. Bone. El hueso. El hueso. Muscle. El músculo. El músculo. How would you make that plural? Los músculos. Los músculos. Tendon. El tendón. El tendón. How would you make that plural? Los tendones. Los tendones. Ligament. El ligamento. El ligamento. Joint. This is kind of a long word. It's a little tricky to say, but what's the word for joint? La coyuntura. La coyuntura. Artery. La arteria. La arteria. Vein. La vena. La vena. Blood. La sangre. La sangre. So as I mentioned right at the beginning, I've got those five very focused beginner lessons, especially high yield for providers, which you can find at learnmedicalspanish.org slash lessons. So if you type in that URL, it'll take you there. But also I'll put a link in the episode description so you can find it easily. If you're on YouTube, check out that playlist, which has a bunch of other dialogues and other things, especially useful for emergency medicine providers, and some details about my CME course. And if you're on the podcast, you can find a lot of that info just by scrolling down and looking at the episode list. Thanks for listening or watching, and I'll see you next time on Learn Medical Spanish.